so this is the method that uh, I would use to mark a 30 mark question. What I'm intending to do is take you through um, the mark scheme and demonstrate how three different students have managed to um, get to the levels that they have done, why they've got to the levels they have done, um, uh, and pretty much an idea of exactly what we're looking for as a marker in terms of your answer. Now, because it would take so long to show you a whole marked essay three times, I'm choosing one point and trying to find um, where in that point there are evidences of what level this should get overall. Now, admittedly, maybe these essays would not overall demonstrate this on each occasion. And so as this is just a section, please bear with um, the, the, sort of the, the, the very short nature of what we're doing here. Um, and they do just about fit into the three criteria. So this is the essay that you've done. It is the one about the divisions in the US political, social and economic. And I've chosen the point about political divisions to use as the example. Uh, I'm going to show you a level three first, then a level four and then a level five. Uh, and we'll start off with the level three. So with the level of three answer, they're looking for an attempt to, to analyse this, but you might not necessarily um, hit the nail exactly on the head, but the demonstration of an attempt to analyse it is there. Um, you'll probably bring in some sort of uh, evidence, and the evidence might not necessarily be perfectly used every time. And the likelihood is it's going to be more implicit than explicit. And remember, implicit is that you imply that you understand the answer. Explicit is you explain what your answer actually is. In this example, the first thing that's very obvious is that this is somebody who is genuinely attempting analysis. And of course, uh, if you have a look at the mark scheme, the mark scheme does say somebody who attempts analysis. But there are some flaws in the answer. Again, somebody who's attempting here very strongly to use evidence, which is something that you should always try to do. But when you use evidence, there's a difference between just chucking it in there and actually explaining it. And in this case, this person has just chucked some evidence in, which is exactly the right sort of stuff that should be in there, but it's not being explained. So this is implicit evidence, not explicit evidence. You might argue that it's descriptive. What's also a shame about this one is, again, it's all it's this idea between being explicit and implicit. It doesn't explain how it links to the question, and it's useful to you know in some way as you do a little conclusory point to each paragraph you put in there. You should really make a direct link to the question uh, in order to continue that explicit nature of your answer. And this one doesn't. And also, just as a nice little good example at the end, just to show you. Um, the difference between a, a level three and a level four. Again, great evidence being put in here, but the evidence at no point is explained but how that evidence links to the question, makes it descriptive, makes it implicit rather than explicit, and doesn't really link it directly to the point that it's trying to make within the answer. Now here's a level four answer. Now this is another step. This is somebody who has, again, really demonstrated analysis and more than just attempted it, I've really have actually managed to do that. But perhaps, you know, it may not necessarily uh, get it spot on. And at times, and this is the key, whilst it's very good in some areas, it may not necessarily be so good in other areas. In this one, very obviously from the start, you can see that they have done some degree of analysis here.
what it also shows is that when the evidence has been presented, what they've managed to do is they've managed to link that evidence into the point they're trying to make. They haven't just put it there. They've said, here is my evidence, and this is how it links to the answer I'm trying to give. That's the key difference between level three and level four. If you give evidence, each time you give it, explain how that links to your point and how that then the, how that point links to the answer. And here's an example of the analysis um, in, the, in this answer here. And here's some more evidence of them um, using um, their evidence and presenting that evidence to support their point. What's good here is uh, it's also linked to the earlier evidence and explained how that link exists. And of course, this answer links very clearly to the question, um, showing that this has degree of direction. But the key thing, as I, as I mentioned before, is it's not necessarily all the way through. The key thing about this and why this is a level four and not a level five, it is very narrow. It only uses really one, maybe two bits of evidence to support the point. It needs more detail. It needs to show more balance here. Um, if you, you know, the, the argument against um, being politically um, divided was, was not really strong enough there. So that it's analytical, it's strong, but it just lacks a little bit something. But here's how you would get level five. Now, for level five, it's all about analysis. It's all about consistent use of evidence and consistent analysis. And this is, um, while it's not a, a stunning level five answer, and it's not far off being a level four, there's enough there to demonstrate that it's got the skills in analysis and consistent use of evidence. Straight away, you, you, you've got your evidence in here, and the evidence is explained. As you read through it, you can see that they are they're analysing the points that they're trying to make. And as I say, the key thing is they use the evidence, they've chosen the evidence, evidence wisely. The evidence they are, they are using is appropriate. They're supporting that evidence with an explanation. And that's how the evidence works. And that's the word explicit. Notice that that is in the level 5 descriptor for... Uh, this this uh, thirty mark question is the word explicit. What's very good here is the. The linking between the two points. Where, where it's skillful here is that it's saying this is evidence that supports this point, but also that evidence can be used and demonstrated that actually it didn't necessarily work because of uh, other factors. And that's where the analysis comes in strongly. And of course, this is good because it's it's well used and it's linked to the question. Now, this does go on further, and that's why it's, um, it, it, demonstrates, it demonstrates more. Um, but just for this, we haven't got time to go any further. But this one does go on to, to use more evidence throughout.